Uh, no, I'm just gonna like, hang on. Will my camera sit down here? So I see Rachel Catherine do this, so I'm gonna just take a leaf out of her book. Today is Saturday. I was not gonna vlog this weekend, um, but then I was in the shower and I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this this weekend. And I was like, what the heck? Like, let's just vlog, bring you guys along with me. It is 10 past nine and I'm currently on my way to my laser appointment. It is actually my last laser appointment that I'm gonna have. So I've been getting laser now for nearly two years. I just got to the laser clinic. I went in Hamilton and now I go in Auckland. But it's just like a bit of a sieve having to go there and it's quite, ooh, someone's about to back into a Range Rover. Instead of paying for the laser, Sage and Ash and I are gonna go in and just buy our own machine so we can just do it from home. So we don't have to travel, we don't like, we can do it whenever we want, we don't have to pay for it. Like, well, we obviously have to pay for the machine up front, but it works out way cheaper. I was gonna catch up with Morgan today, but I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I feel like I'm getting sick. And so I'm like, I don't wanna give her my germs. And I also kind of just need to rest. Pretty sure, apart from church tomorrow, this little outing to my laser appointment will be the only thing that I leave the house for this weekend, which I'm totally fine with. That is fine by me. Also, <laughs> last night, okay, I watched Lewis Capaldi's documentary last night and I'm kind of obsessed with him, eh? Like, he's actually such a cool person. Ooh. Oh my gosh, all the great drivers are out today. Anyway, I watched this documentary and it was amazing. If you have not watched it and you like Lewis Capaldi's music, I highly, highly recommend watching it. It's only like an hour and a half, it's on Netflix, it's great. So anyway, I'm gonna listen to a bit of his music while I drive. But last night, watched that, went to bed, woke up at like 2.40 and I have a TV and a speaker in my room. And the speaker has a light on it, which is kind of annoying because the light shines at night and it lights up my room quite a lot, but it's really, not that big of an issue. Anyway, I woke up at like three o'clock and I was like, oh, that's weird. That light on my speaker isn't on. And then the dots connected. It was really stormy last night. We had a power cut. So I go back to sleep and then I wake up again at like 3.30. Like I'm awake, but my eyes are still shut. You know that? And I was like, oh, it's the morning. I My eyes are still shut, but it's bright outside because I can see light through my eyelids. And so I slowly open my eyes and I'm like, oh, I picked my alarm up whoop de doo open my eyes and my room is bright pink. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck's going on? And when the power had come back on, my LED strip lights had turned themselves on for I don't know what reason. And so my room was pink and it's 4 a.m. But I'm like, okay, pop off. Anyway, that's my little story time from last night. Laser appointment is all done and that was such build ups. I was like in the waiting room and I was like, I'll just check my account to see how many, like make sure that I do actually have prepaid appointments left to use today and I have two left so I'm not actually done with my laser appointments my last one will be my next one in August but on the way out I grabbed some bread from Baker's Delight the girl that was so cute dad loves the white tin Vienna sesame seed sandwich sliced Baker's Delight bread very specific I know but they didn't have the white tin Vienna so we got the white block loaf and the girl was so cute she's like oh do you like sesame seeds and I'm like yeah, it's my dad's favourite, but she was just so cute in the shop, so shout out to her. But I am going to head home now via moustache because I am going to get a giant candy squiggle. I kind of got stage fright right now because I'm the only person here and the chick just watched me get into my car. <laughs> I'm so excited for this, guys. That is massive. I got two of them. Don't know who's going to eat the other one, but that's fine. I'll find a friend, I'm sure. I've made it home and I have... Oh. It's a giant candy squiggle. I dropped one off to Matt on the way and he had it for breakfast. So. It's so big. Look at it compared to the size of my face. Yum. Look at that. Oh, delicious. Right. Mm. That's good. That's really good. Right, I'm in the midst of cleaning out. This is our equivalent of the corner cupboard, if you know what I mean. This little space here at the bottom of our cupboard where we keep our glasses and plates. <laughs> this is everything. All of this came out of that. I've managed to find a whole bunch of containers that just didn't have lids, so they're gone. Now I need to figure out how we're gonna make all this fit back in in a way that we can actually access this stuff. I'm thinking I'm gonna put, I hate putting lids on stuff because I feel like it gets real stinky, but I'm just gonna put lids on it and stack it. Then everything has a lid and everything stacks properly, you can see it all, and I think that's probably our best approach right now. My whole whole has gone out to get their flu Jabs? Coming to think of it, I am really confused as to why I didn't get invited on this family outing. I must have already had my flu jab at some point, but it just didn't really cross my mind. I was like, oh yeah, see you later guys. But <laughs> why did I not get invited? Anyway, that's fine. I'm going to assume that I've already had it. I've just been on the couch reading a bit more of this book that I started on the plane to Australia. 
So I started like a month ago, three quarters of the way through. It's good, but it's like quite a heavy read. I was hoping to like smash it out and get it finished, but I think I need to just like put it away and come back to it later. But I want to make sure I'm getting the most out of it, so I'm happy just to put it to the side and we'll readdress later on. I have so many books in my TBR at the moment. Let me show you the six that I just bought and then I'll show you the other ones that I have to read and then we can just we can fangirl over it all together. First one that I just recently bought was You Take Care by Laura Henshaw and Steph Claire Smith. Um, they're the founders of Keep It Cleaner or Kick as it's now known. I'm like quite excited to read. Oh wow it has recipes in it? What the heck? Okay well that looks great. Okay I've bought five fiction books but I'll show you my non-fiction ones first. So the other three non- actually no four non-fiction ones. First one Ruby Tui's biography. This actually belongs to my nana so we bought it for my nana for her birthday. She read it, she passed it on to mum. Mum read it while we were in Australia and now it's come to me so it's my turn to read it. And then after that we also gave nana the biography of for Hayley Holt. So once Nana's read that, then Mum will read it, then I'll read it. So that is on the way. Then recently I bought Girls Invest. Keen for that one too, but again, I think that's going to be like a little bit of a heavy read. So I'm happy to hold off on that for a little while. Then Marie at Work lent me Shoe Dog, which I'm excited to read this because I've watched... What's the movie called? Oh my gosh, why can't I? Yeah. Yeah, the movie. So I'm excited now to read that. The other non-fiction book is this one here, Atlas of the Heart by Brene Brown. I got this as a 21st present from some family friends. I have started reading it, so I've read like those pages you can see at the top there. But again, it is like a heavy read, so I feel like I need to offset it. I might just go like fiction, non-fiction, like, and just like go between the two until I get through my stack of books. Then, <laughs> I have my five fiction books, which I am about to embark on. So the first one, which I think I'm gonna start with this one because I've heard so many good things about it and I feel like I'm just in the mood to read a book which I know I'm gonna pick up, I know I'm gonna love, it's going to get me fired up and excited to read. So that is going to be Confessed by Colleen Hoover. I also have November 9 by Colleen Hoover, which I've heard is really sad. So <laughs> embracing myself for that. Then Love Theoretically by Ali Hazelwood. I read The Love Hypothesis last year and loved it. So excited for that. Then we have Never Never by Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher, which they co-authored together. And from what I can understand, one person would write a chapter and then they'd pass it to the next person, they'd write the chapter, and they'd go back and forth without really communicating about what was going on and just basing it off the chapters that they'd written up until that point. I'm not 100% sure on that one, but that's kind of the vibe I got when I was reading about it. I heard really mixed reviews about that, so we'll see how that goes. And then Happy Place by Emily Henry, which I've also heard really good things about, but I did not enjoy Beach Read, so... Dunno. I have literally 10 books <laughs> waiting to be read, which is ridiculous. I did buy a whole heap with the intention of stocking up so I wouldn't have to buy any for a while, so I definitely did that. I'm gonna go plant myself on the couch and do a bit more reading. I do want to, like on the back end of watching Lewis Capaldi's documentary last night, I feel like I'm in the mood to like watch TV. Like this weekend's just like a weekend, just relax and do things that I am guilty of not giving myself time to do because I'm like, oh, I can't do that till I've done this. No, this weekend is the weekend for doing things that I want to do, but I don't give myself time to do. So, on that note, I want to start watching Emily in Paris. I've heard really good things about it. It's on Netflix, which is great. And I had a look last night, and the episodes are only like 30 minutes each, which is great, because then if I want to like watch an episode after work, like it's not like so much of a tax, like an hour episode, it's like an hour hour. Whereas when it's short and sweet, same with reading books, if the chapters are shorter I feel like it's way more motivating to read it. Might watch a bit of Emily in Paris later on but I don't, like I have this weird thing about watching TV when the sun's up, like I just feel like it's kind of like, doesn't really make sense. <laughs> Once the sun's gone down then we'll watch some TV. I had a black currant tea before, I'm gonna make myself a lemon and honey drink. If you're like real game about it you should also put ginger in it. But I'm not that, I'm not that, so. <laughs> Liquid honey. I went through a phase in the flat of having lemon honey tea like every morning because I, the problem is when I get sick because I'm immunocompromised, when I get sick, I'm sick. It hangs around for ages. And so for like weeks on end, I was having um, lemon honey tea every morning. And I actually love it. Like I feel like it's so tasty. It smells like the real deal. Oh, that's delicious. I'm also gonna get myself a little snacky snack. I'm gonna have a kiwi fruit and an apple. You guys will see this tomorrow because I'll probably vlog it but I am on my meal prep game and I bought a whole bunch of fruit and I like 
Growing up, we just never, like, this is going to sound so foreign to most people, but we just never had fruit in the house. So I didn't grow up eating fruit apart from, like, orange slices at half time on a Saturday. So to have fruit in the house is like a novelty. I'm like, wow, I can choose if I want a pear or an apple or a kiwi fruit or a banana or a man, like, I have choices. Such a foreign concept. But in saying that, I eat fruit in a really weird way. I'm sure this is not normal. I cut my apples up into eighths. I can't bite into it for some reason. I, I just like the thought of biting into an apple just kind of sends a shiver down my spine. I think it's because I have sensitive teeth and I'm just like, no, that's gonna hurt. Just eat it in slices like a child. There we go, apple. Now I'll cut up my kiwi fruit. Again, I don't eat kiwi fruit like a normal person. I cut the ends off. So I have this and then I slice the skin off and then I cut it again into slices. Like I will eat it with a spoon, but for some reason I like caught myself doing this the other day I was like, why do I not just cut it in half and eat it with a spoon like a normal person? I'm like trying to train my body when I'm like, oh, I need sugar to be like I need natural sugar not like refined sugars Because growing up like as kids we did not eat healthy like I would genuinely like I wish I was joking right now I would come home from school so I'd catch the bus home. I get home at like 4 and I would for afternoon tea at like 4 p.m. before mum and dad got home from work at like 6. I would just sit on the couch, watch TV, and eat a literal whole entire Big Ben pie. Or, my other go-to, was a whole entire packet of dumplings. Like the whole packet. The whole, the whole thing. There's like 15 or 16 dumplings for afternoon tea. Like that's not okay. Like that is not okay. I have my bowl of fruit. I have my cup of tea. And I am gonna go read my book. I know it seemed far too good to be true. I just added some chocolate sauce to my apple. <laughs> Question of the day. I need to know. Comment down below. If you're reading a new book, do you read the synopsis on the back or do you just dive straight in? Because I don't really like reading the synopsis because I just want to... I want to be surprised. Oh, I've got chocolate on my face. I just want to be surprised every step of the way. So I'm not going to read the synopsis of this, and I'm just going to trust the process. I'll let you know how it goes. It's not even that much later. It's quarter to six, and I am 50 pages into the book, and it's amazing. Still haven't read the synopsis, so I don't really know what's going on. Like, I don't really know what's heading, should I say. I know what's going on, but I don't know where it's heading. But anyway, mum and dad have got home and taken over the lounge, so I've resorted to my bedroom. I've got the fake fireplace crackling in the background. Pink LED lights are on. Just started burning a new candle over here. Bought the heater in for my office because it is really cold. I'm gonna rug myself up in my blanket. I'm gonna read my book and I, this is like the ideal Saturday night. I was gonna say I'm such a loser, but I'm not. Because I know so many of you guys watching this are gonna agree that this is like the perfect Saturday night in. And I love that for us. I really do. Right, I just had dinner and I forgot to vlog it. I was like halfway through eating it and I was like, oh, my camera's upstairs. I made homemade chicken tikka curry that was FODMAP friendly. So that was great. It's like a classic. We have it like at least once a week. It's dad's favorite thing ever. I am going to do a teeth whitening thing. This isn't sponsored. I actually got this for Christmas from my mum. So thanks mum. Uh, this is no teeth. I think the camera actually makes them look whiter than they are. They're not bad. They are pretty white. You're meant to do it like once or twice a week but I, I just kind of do it whenever I remember which is like once every three weeks probably. First I want to show you guys my LED lights that I was talking about. Hey s turn off TV lights. One moment. There you go. Hey s turn on TV lights. Hey s make TV lights green. <laughs> okay. I only, f I only figured out that it could do that last night. Actually, I'll show you guys how this works. It has a little mirror. Oh, that's really cute. You guys can, oh, whoa. It has a mirror, like, on the thing, which is kind of handy. Anyway, um, uh, this is really awkward because you're not into to get it on your guns, on your lips. Like, you just, I can't do a, a, a <laughs> oh my god, that is so hard to say. Okay, and just, okay, I can't say a P without closing my lips. So, you paint it on. <laughs> this is a sight. Paint it on with this. Now I have to wait 25 minutes. Okay. Also, before the keyboard wires come out, I got approval from my dentist before doing this, so. Hmm. I didn't end up watching any TV. I was kind of like, oh, after this chapter, I'll put my book down and I'll watch some TV. And I said that for like five chapters in a row. And the chapters are quite long. So it's now 10 o'clock and I'm halfway through my book and 
honestly it's taking all of my self-control to put the book away and be like I need to go to bed. Church tomorrow is at 10. I'm actually going to a new church tomorrow so excited for that. I need to make sure that I get enough sleep tonight because I have not been getting enough sleep all week. Anyway I'm gonna head to bed. I'm gonna set an alarm for 8 which means I'm gonna get literally 10 hours sleep which is phenomenal and then I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Artemadia, good morning everybody. Look at the sunshine. Look at look at this. Look at this beautiful little sun flare. Paid actor. I've made myself a little lemon honey tea. I'm actually feeling much better today, which is great. Five past nine. I have to leave the house in 40 minutes to go to church. So I have decided I'm gonna curl my hair. I contemplate doing makeup because my skin is way better than it was like a couple days ago. But I'm just scared if I do the makeup then it's gonna put it back to where it was and it's gonna be bad again. So we're not gonna do that. My hair is curled and it's like obviously it's gonna drop as the day goes by. My hair's pretty clean but um, it's a bit some home brand hairspray in there that actually belongs to my nana. But yeah, that'll drop throughout the day and it's also started raining. Time check, uh, I have to leave the house in 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go brush my teeth and get my stuff together and then I'll be on my merry way. G'day folks, church is done and that was so, so lovely. Such a good message. Hang on, let me, go, let me show you guys this. It's not often that I fill up a whole double page spread with all of my notes. But today was one of those days and that's when you know it was a good message. It's half past 11. I need to go and fill up my, fill up my car, no. I need to go pump up my tires on my car because they are just really low. Um, but I haven't, since I've had this car, I haven't had to pump them up. Um, and I hate going to the gas station because you just get so many weird looks because obviously I'm not there to get gas but where else can you go to pump up your tyres? Literally nowhere. Like I'm not going to get the bike pump out and do a little DIY job that's for sure. I had a look at the tyres. It says 50 psi and it's been raining right and when, when it's raining you kind of want your tyres to be deflated so there's more surface area touching the ground so you're less likely to skid out. So I'm just going to give my dad a little call and see what he has to say. Hello there. Hello. The tyres say uh, max PSI of 50 when they're cold. Seems quite no, high. No, no, no. What are they? I, I put them up to. We run 42 in the... 42? Cool. See you soon. Alright, see you soon. Right. Bye. Bye. I'm going to go pump up my tyres to 42 PSI. And then I'll grip my, get my groceries and go home. <laughs> Mission complete. It's some of my... Okay, so I pumped them up to 42 PSI. Some of them were as low as 32 PSI, which is a little bit embarrassing. Hey, guys. A little bit later on. I need to sort out my laundry. I've just had dinner. I came home from church and then turned around and went back into town with mum and dad to go see some of our family friends. And on the way we went to go visit my nana in the rest home. And it was really sad. She was having lunch and she had no idea who I was. That was a little bit sad. But we went to see our friend and we also stopped in a few hours later on the way home to go see Nana again and she knew who I was then so all is well. Came home and did my meal prep which I was gonna film but it's really hard because obviously the kitchen and the lounge are like right next to each other and dad has a TV blasting. That wasn't really gonna happen. I made like a quinoa salad for lunch this week and then I've got a cheesecake overnight oats, strawberry overnight oats for breakfast tomorrow. Oh and I made these like bliss ball, like protein bliss ball peanut butter things as like a little sweetie treaty and then I have Oh no, I hate it when it happens when your sports bra, like the padding all ends up in the wrong place. Mum and I made some pork dumplings for dinner, which we just ate and they were delicious. But it's only like 6.30 and I'm gonna read my book and then have an early night because I took my full 10 hours of sleep last night and I woke up exhausted. So I need to have another good night's sleep tonight and then hopefully I will start the week off on the right foot. But I'm gonna close this vlog off here, but thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well, make someone smile and I'll see you in my next video. We're going. We're we're going. We're we're going. So, 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 so.